And we're live again. What is up, everybody? I'm here at NAM. I know the screen says, or at least it said that Florentino was gonna be the next host, but you know what? I'm honored to be the next host because <laughs> this company, not only have I heard about them before, but I hear through the grapevine, they have a lot of great new content and products coming out that I'm excited to really talk about today. I have the very cool people, Lauren and Ben from Van Lab Technologies here joining me to talk about all the cool stuff that they brought to show here at NAMM 2019. Lauren and Ben, how are you guys doing today? Pretty good, actually. Nice. We're doing yeah. awesomely. It's been, what is it, day three now at NAMM. It's been three huge days. Yeah. A lot of people through the door, a lot of excitement about what we're seeing, what we're showing and what generally is being seen on the floor. And it's amazing to be here in the USA. We're originally from uh, Singapore and Australia. That's right. We're based out yeah. of Singapore, so it's just incredible to come over here and see the scale of stuff. It's incredibly exciting. Are you guys overwhelmed by the size of NAM yet? Yeah, like, because that's one of the things that oh, always yeah. happens when I walk in. So many great products. You're just like, oh my god, I have so much to see. I know? feel that. I mean, this is my first NAM show, so it's been so overwhelming. It's like a sensory overload, but it's it's been all good so far. We're all holding up at the booth. It's a lot of fun. I'm glad. I imagine you guys are getting tons of traffic at the booth. Huge amounts. I mean, we're really lucky to be right at the front of Hall C. We're seeing a lot of people coming through and a lot of interest. Uh, we've kind of got quite an interesting setup. It's not just one brand. We've got several brands under the BandLab Technologies banner, nice. which means that there's pretty much something for anyone when you come by and see what BandLab Technologies has to offer. So all the buyers are basically just going there because they can get everything from Man, BandLabs, basically. I very much hope so. I very much <laughs> hope so. I mean, just to take you through what's inside the family of BandLab uh, brands, we've got BandLab Technologies, which is a group of Obviously, we're at NAMM, so we're a music-focused group of brands, but we cover everything from digital to publishing, manufacturing, and retail. Nice. Like, we've got it covered. And you might have heard the word BandLab. Obviously, it's in our title, BandLab Technologies. It is our flagship digital product. It is a social music platform. And when people ask what that is, I'm like, well, it's a door so you can make music. It's a social platform so you can chat and create. Well, but cool. it's also collaboration. So we allow real-time collaboration online. All you need is a phone or a computer, any kind, Android, iOS. We're not like really? buying into the battle. So this, we're happy with Google, we're happy with Apple, we love them all. Um, and you can join BandLab, it's totally free, download it, and you can immediately start creating. And I mean, real live collaboration. Like you might be over here in the States and I'm over in Singapore, but I can invite you to a live collaboration session really? where you can watch me producing in real time. So are you talking about, can I actually, watch, like, can you set up like a little webcam and I can see your doll like through the app or you how does it work? You don't even need a webcam, we are doing direct screen sharing. You know really? how Google Docs works, you can yeah. watch me typing away, yeah. there she is, she's and making can, these Can you edits. see like real time, like who's actually adding stuff, like a little like maybe icon, like Lauren just added a guitar riff, exactly. Ben came in and added the best drum loop I've ever heard. <laughs> yes. That kind of thing? That is it. He's my, I'm likely to do piano, he's on the bass, but we do oh, yeah. the best that we can. At the moment, the way it works is you've got Unlimited watches, like 25, 40 watches, and one person who can edit. The problem there is with music and the internet, things get a little out of sync. So one right. person can edit, everybody else can watch. There's a chat box, and you can say, hey, I've got a great idea. Pass me that baton. I want to be in charge of editing, That's cool. and I tag it off to you. So yeah. it's like real-time collaboration in, a, like we recommend Chrome because it's the one that works the best in terms of web with BandLab, but literally anybody around the world could be making music together with no resources beyond an internet connection and some kind of computer or phone, which for us is groundbreaking. And we have 5.5 million people using the app today. Wow. And the number I love even more, like 5.5 million people have it on their phone. Okay, whatever. Like, yeah, that's it could incredible. Be on, I mean, it, it, like it's not incredible. It could be that's on the incredible. back screen. Are they using it? Are they not using it? We don't know. Well, we do know. And uh, there are 38 new songs being saved on the platform every minute on BandLab. So it's yeah. not just like people wow. are downloading it and having a look. They're downloading it and getting involved. And the newest thing that we have is really all about collaboration and finding other creators around you. You know, in the old days, you had the community notice board. You go right. and pin up like drummer wanted Eddie. I need a drummer. I didn't even know you were a drummer. You have to today. go to the music do... store, or the bar, and like, oh hey, so, they need they have an audition or exactly. something. Exactly. Right? Or you look in the classifieds like musicians wanted. I got to find someone. Where do you go today for that? It's really tough. And what we've done is this week. 
we have launched a new thing called BandLab Creator Connect. It sits inside a BandLab, and what you can do is put out a call for what you're looking for. You can filter by the type of musician you want, the geography you want, and you wow. can find other creators. And you know, you swipe through the different profiles, check out who you want to connect with, and then send them a message to say, "Let's create." And there are so many different vari like variations in this. Let's say I'm looking for a drummer, but I want to jam. I'll set it to 25 miles. But let's say I'm a rapper and I want some incredible beats or a new producer. That can be worldwide. It can happen anywhere. So yeah. I'll set it to the world and I'll find the person who's best for me. And like the joy for me. So I, I do a lot of talking about BandLab, but the stuff that I love is when I see a story out in the world that I had nothing to do with, like absolutely nothing to do with. We had four guys, the Lonesome Souls, they found each other on BandLab. They're from four completely different states in the USA, and they put out their first album. And That's I found cool. out about this in a newspaper. Like, wow. that delights me to hear people actually connecting, making music, and being inspired and empowered. Because I think for so many of us, life gets busy. Yeah. It's hard to practice. It's hard to find people. It's hard to find the time to go out there and make music. But we've all got this thing in us that says, I want to be creative. Yeah. And so when you tear down those barriers, whether it's resources, gear, finding people, where I live, you take those barriers away and suddenly like you've got this endless opportunity to create and yeah. BandLab. So go to BandLab.com or go to that app, like the App Store or Google Play Store and download it. It's free. We're not going to steal your data. We're not going to serve you ads. Like it's just, just out create. there available. Just, just, just yeah. join up and create. It's incredible. And see, and that's, that's honestly, I, I love when companies put the creators first because we can all see where technology is going. We can all see that yeah. cloud is probably the way of the future. Mm -hmm. Hard that's storage devices. Exactly. They're yep. probably going to become a thing of the past. Maybe not today, but sometime in the near future. Mm -hmm. And the fact that companies like BandLab are putting the creator first, giving them access to ways to easy ways to create with other people is just fascinating and i love that it, you must you guys must feel incredibly accomplished to be working for a company that puts the creator first oh yeah it's really exciting and like we've, there's there's so much else that, that we're doing it's not just band lab yeah, there's so many yeah. other tell, brands tell me that we're a little bit more about it because you guys like you were saying you have a hub just full of stuff everyone's coming to your booth i want to know a little bit more about what you guys are doing spot on well what, what i can tell you is we have mono creators the incredible like case and accessories brand that so many people have on their backs everywhere. Nice. That's design centered, always focused on what the musician needs, keeping them on the go. We have a partnership with Heritage Guitars. We're helping Ooh. bring them to the world. Made in America, made in Kalamazoo, 225 Parsons, incredible story. They've been around for over 30 years and they're making the most gorgeous, traditional handcrafted guitars. Wow. And we've got Harmony Guitars, which you hear, but I reckon we're both flying the flag right now for Tysco. Um, this is a brand that we're pretty excited about. We are bringing, for the first time, new products to market. Ben, you're kind of our Tysco. Sure. Yeah, like, he's, like, he's wearing guy. the shirt. Like, he's like, I'm ready. Tell, like, tell us about Tysco. Well, I mean, for those, for those guitarists out there and a bunch of other musicians, uh, Tysco was a brand that um, started out in Japan, actually. Nice. Um, and back in the late 40s, early 50s. Where in Japan, if I can ask? I'm um, just curious. Do you know? Whoa. No, that one. Are you putting him to sure. the test? Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm what year? What year? 1948. 1948. He knows it. He knows yeah. it. So this was a, like a meeting between yeah. somebody who was an electronic engineer and a musician. And a musician. It's That's all cool. about yeah. like blending technology and music together to yeah. find out like far out results. But, I love that. Yeah. But yeah, so back in the day, they. Um, they gain popularity because of their quirky designs and their nice. innovation. So what we've done today is to sort of revive that brand um, and carry on that legacy of quirky design and innovation. But what we've done now instead is to apply that to a new line of guitar pedals that we're working on right now. Very cool, man. Yeah. And you know, I love that you bring that because I, I do see a trend in the music industry where for the past couple, like 10, 20 years, maybe a lot of things have been generic. Um, I mean, I, I'm overgeneralizing, but right. it, you, once you see one guitar, you've kind of seen them all, but there has been a space in the past couple years for companies that are sort of doing things differently, that are going out of their way to make something just out of the box, just some super creative. And so mm -hmm. the fact that Tysco's doing that, I mean, they're clearly doing the right thing. And just to answer your previous question, it was Tokyo. Ah, yes. you remember, it just I love popped it. back in my mind. I love it, so Tokyo. Yeah. So show me a couple of the things that they're working on. All right, so we debuted these last name, um, but they were just prototypes, so we finally got the production models going. Nice. So what we have here is the Tysco Boost, Ooh. the Tysco Delay, as well as the Tysco Fuzz. So just to perhaps just talk a little bit about them. So over here we have a Tysco Boost. So this is 
inspired by a vintage preamp that we all love. So there is a little bit of a color to it. Look at that design. Look oh at yeah, that, I'll, I'll get back looks. to that later. We love it so much. Um, um, but what we've done to like take this vintage idea a little a little bit forward is to add more controls. So we have a 24 volt internal option here that jumps the voltage inside and it just gives you that extra headroom if you want that. And then we have an EQ profile section here as well for the guitarist to give nice. you a little bit more control over your the EQ that you're, you're boosting. Very cool, man. Yeah. Um, over here we have the Tysco delay. This is an analog bucket brigade delay. Um, and what we're really proud of with this one is that um, with the feedback control and the modulation circuit, we've, we've, we've made these really wide open. So these things go from subtle all the way to like wacky experimental modulation. Nice. You know, for those people that want to get ambient and just, you know, a little bit off center, yeah. like this thing is for you. Lots of fun in this one. We've also brought back a vintage option here, the direct out. So what this does is it splits your signal. Oh, that's so cool, you man. have all your delay coming out of one signal and your dry signal coming out of the other one. And what that does is that allows you for um, like better stereo imaging. Um, you can run your signals into different amps. Yeah. It just gives you that, th that much more options. Awesome. Last but not least, we have the Tysco fuzz. So over here we have a the silicon fuzz circuit with an octave in it. So what we're proud of with, with this one is that with the octave circuit, we've managed to tweak the gain stage so that that octave tracks and sustains across the entire fretboard. What we've realized with a lot of vintage octave fuzzes is that they only work in the higher register. They only yeah. track there. But with, with this, you can hear that octave across the entire frequency range, which is a lot of fun, super gnarly stuff. Um, yeah, we, and like you said, enclosures look great. Um, so we've really designed these from the ground up, actually, um, with the brand in mind. You know, that quirky design that I yeah. just told you about. Um, but not just that. So it's, it's an homage to our Japanese heritage. Um, but even everything down to the, the materials we're, that we're using. So this is made of zinc alloy. And this nice. is a lot tougher than your typical aluminum enclosures out there. It even feels tougher, too. Like it does. It feels it, really it, solid. It feels sturdy. Yeah, it's got a good weight to it. Even all the way to the back over here, this is textured so that it sticks to your Velcro a little better. So when you put it on your pedal board, it stays there. Um, so you're solving a problem right there. Because I, yeah. I mean, playing, uh, touring and all that, I definitely encounter so many frustrated guitarists all the time. Oh, like, yeah. ah, get back on there, man. And Precisely. I'm not a guitarist, I'm a drummer. And but you see I, that, this, right? Yeah, I've yeah. seen that from behind the drum set, how frustrated it can be and how it can take you out of your mindset. You know, oh, the yeah. fact that you can solve that. That's, I mean, you don't think about it, but you're solving right. a big issue with it. Yeah, that. so it's quirky, but still functional. Yeah. Um, we've even re recessed the screws and the feet are removable so they don't get in the way. Um, and the rest of it is all fun. It's all soft edges, high gloss finish. We even have the vintage Tysco logo up front. You'll see these in some of the vintage Tysco synths. So we've just added that on. That's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. Um, these will be available March 15th. Nice. Um, hopefully in dealers and distributors around the world. Uh, and we're looking at 129 for the boost and the fuzz and we're looking at 149 for the analog delay. And these are all hand soldered in-house by our team. We're really proud of what we've got, especially at this price point, yeah. I'm happy for you guys. You guys are just creating amazing products. That's it, and I mean, I think the main thing that we're trying to do is create products that excite people and make them want to create. Like, we hope that Tysco, like unleashes your desire to go out and push your musical boundaries and explore like your sound. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what? I know I sound like a, like a broken record, but I can't express that with enough intent and how important it is nowadays for a company like yours and for a music company to go out of their way to encourage that creativity because it's so easy. And I, and I say this as someone who's not experienced, but as a consumer, right. it's so easy to be generic. It's so easy oh, yeah. to just pump out product, but it takes a lot of focus and it takes a lot of intent and passion to create something that's going to yes. encourage you to think outside the box and it seems like if i may yeah, sure. this is what you guys have created i mean i see this and i'm a, i'm a drummer by the way i think i've said that plenty of times i'm not a guitarist but i can appreciate great work when i see it and this to me when i see it i just i want to look at it i want to use it because <laughs> it looks so cool like, absolutely it looks really absolutely cool and i can see where the influence is from and it's just fantastic glad you like it <laughs> absolutely guys band lab tysco are there any questions that are that we're getting from live stream or anyone in the audience that wants to ask any specific questions about the product? Tell us about the guitar. Oh, the guitar. Yeah, the guitar. Great okay, question. I almost forgot about that. Yes, please. So we've just had a question from the audience here about the guitar. I've been holding it here. You might recognize its shape. It is based on a Harmony H19. That's the silhouette, and this is our reimagined guitar. Now, we showed prototypes of this a year ago, and I can tell you, People out there, I know you've been waiting for these and I know you've been very excited, but we've been taking our time to perfect it. It is a gorgeous 
offset. It's made of maple and alder with an ebony fingerboard. Mm -hmm. You can see in here up the top, okay, we're looking at the head. At the moment, you've got locking tuners. And if you track down to the body of the guitar, you'll see the beautiful mini humbuckers. These are hand-wound gold foil humbuckers that Harmony was really known for. As well, even the details on the knobs, they're cupcake knobs, and these are uniquely made for Harmony. We've been designing this guitar to be really comfortable for the modern player. At the end of the day, Harmony is such a well-loved brand. It's been around since 1892. It started in Chicago. A lot of people have their memories of their like first guitar. We've had so many people walking up, sending us photos saying, hey, like I had my first guitar. My uncle gave it to me. My yeah. brother handed his down when I upgraded. They've got so many happy memories attached to the brand yeah. Harmony. Like with them, it's about the music. It wasn't about what the instrument was. It was about those memories that they had making music with each other. And bringing this back, we've taken some real efforts to be respectful of the past and to be thoughtful towards what has come before because there's so much like beautiful knowledge in the Harmony brand. But if you have a look here, you can see the cutaways for the body on the arm and against the body, just making this a really comfortable, easy playing guitar and something that we hope will really delight a lot of people out there. We've got three guitars that will be available in March. It's the Rebel, which is like a super rock and roll double cutaway. We've got the Jupiter, which is the single cutaway, and then this beautiful offset in pearl white. Each of them come in three colors. They're all priced at $12.99. And one of the beautiful things is that all of them will also come in a mono vertigo case. So for those people at home, you'll know that the vertigo case is the one with a boot, the droppable one, the one that People on YouTube throw out a window and then a surprise <laughs> when their guitar like still survives. We don't recommend you do that. Please don't no, do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it, please. Um, but what we do love is the fact that now this guitar will be coming out at twelve ninety nine with a free premium case, and Amazing. all of them will be protected. You'll be able to take it with you, like all over on your musical journeys. I love it, and it looks like an incredible guitar. And again, I can't. I keep saying like this is the common theme of this conversation. Is there's a lot of thought that goes behind the creative process with BandLab, with Tysco, with the Harmony guitar that you have brought here. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. And where can they find the guitar, actually? So you can find the guitar. It will be all over, but particularly in the U.S. and the U.K. As of March 28, you'll be able to find it in premier like and select dealers, awesome. as well as online. So if you go to Harmony.co or tysco.com, you'll be able to find them. And I'm also aware we didn't make noise in today's interview, but we do have amazing sound samples. If you head along to our Instagram, yeah. uh, oh, yes. so it's We Are Tysco and Harmony Guitars. So you'll find We Are Tysco and Harmony Guitars, and there you can have a listen. But if you're watching this right now, or you're at home, you can get down to your guitar store. We're at booth 6602, and I think the moment that people feel these products, they hold the guitar, they hear it sound, they try out the pedals, it's, it's going to be love. I mean, I'm telling you, as a drummer, as someone who primarily focuses on drums, I see these products and I immediately just want to hold them and I want to grab them and hey, I want to own them. I'll so pass it Look over. at this. Look at hey. this beautiful piece of artwork, okay? It's, not, it's more than just an instrument. It's a piece of artwork. Thank you so much for being so open about your product and I am so proud of you guys. I just met you Thank guys, you. but I'm proud of your Thank brand. You so and I hope you guys have a great NAM. Thank you so much, Lauren and Ben, for joining me today here. Thank you for Thanks having for having us. us, Eddie. It's been fantastic talking absolutely, with you. Absolutely, absolutely. Keep on staying tuned because we got a lot more great comment, uh, content coming up. Fantastic.